Yes, albumin, there you go. Good teamwork on that. Albumin, centrifugation, fractionation, big words for eighth graders. But those phrases are now rolling off the tongues of Clayton Middle School students thanks to an innovative pilot program that uses fun, interesting, hands-on learning methods to get students engaged. The star of the show, Plasma. Uh, I really didn't know that plasma was something that came out of a human's body. I thought it was just something that was synthetic, man-made. And many also didn't know that life-saving medicines made from plasma have been manufactured right here in their backyard since 1974 before all of these students and even some of their teachers were even born. I see the buildings sometimes and stuff and wonder what's in there and stuff. But then I started noticing what was in the Griffles building. I didn't even realize it, like what they did and stuff until like we started learning about it. I'm cool my friends said that the parents worked there, but that's about it. Griffles, a leading international healthcare company headquartered in Barcelona, Spain, now operates the largest plant producing plasma medicines in the world, right here in Clayton, the single biggest private employer in all of Johnston County. Griffles is, is very much about partnering with the community and supporting the community, and we thought, what better way to do that than really excite middle school kids about science? So Griffles teamed up with Johnston County Public Schools and Johnston Community College to develop a program that would not only educate students about the real world science going on right around the corner, but also help them realize what they're learning could turn into a job that makes a difference in someone's life. In seventh grade, for example, they spend a lot of time dealing with the human body, but they focus very heavily on the functions of the red blood cells and the white blood cells, and the plasma kind of gets overlooked. And so they're going, coming into this with an understanding of kind of, we know that it's there, um, but as far as its functions for what it does for us and what it can do for people who are um, deficient in certain proteins, what the Griffles Corporation is able to do with those proteins from their donors, um, they're now getting that, which is really kind of blowing their minds a little bit, that this clear stuff in their blood is saving lives. But blowing teenage minds, especially when dealing with tough technical and scientific concepts, takes creativity. And Griffles knew that meant virtual labs, videos, even comic strips. We know that curriculum is very challenging for teachers to get through. There's so much, and it's, it often offers very little opportunity for hands-on. So that was a big part of the design for this, to make sure it had multimedia, make sure it had hands-on lab laboratory experience, and really spark that interest for the kids. I would love to be in school right now. I would, as in sitting through these classes and realizing that learning of science is not just reading and having an answer, but to do the interaction, the gaming, the uh, troubleshooting, the problem solving, being able to work with others in a team to have a product that is produced in the class, I think that is going to be critical to them further along is developing those, those skill sets that's in high demand right now. Flip back over to the terminology document. The innovative teaching materials are making the program not just informative, but fun for the students. Like if it was just textbooks, it'd be a little bit hard because the words, but the hands-on stuff and the comic books and working together, it's easy. For example, in this lesson here, what's made centrifugation, for example, easier to, to grasp as a concept is that they're able to watch it happen, um, not just through a video, but to make it happen, to simulate that process of loading the, making sure that it's loaded correctly, loading it, turning it on, and watching the results come out as the separated supernatant and solid phase. Even a flowchart of, of pictures for that process is, is difficult without seeing the actual movement and change from one segment to the next. And I like how they have the definitions of the words so you can actually understand how it works. So yeah, I like that about it. And that you can see how in the pictures on, in the book so you can actually see it, what's going on. When the comic strips make you like interested in it because you want to keep reading. Having eighth graders comprehend college level concepts though took an exceptional collaboration that started long before the program even reached the classroom. I think the key is what has made this successful and what everybody else must do from here on out is to have the cooperation of Johnson County Community College and Johnson County Schools. The more input that the teachers can have in it, especially in the early stages, the easier it's going to be. I've talked to um, other county school systems, 
some right next door. I've talked to other businesses that have tried this in the past and it just didn't come to fruition. So I think it was really, um, you know, it, it really made us come to the point we are because we've had such great collaborative partners in those three groups. The earlier they can learn these technologies and start being able to be comfortable with them, we can move them even further when they get to us out of high school. And that's our hope is that we constantly are building on science and biotechnology because it's ever changing, it's getting better, and the baseline of knowledge has to increase if we are going to then turn around and be able to give Griffles a good qualified candidate pool. And teachers say that possibility has resonated with these young people. And they're definitely excited about the idea that, wait a second, with only a couple years of training at JCC, I can be qualified to get a lab tech position there, making really good money with benefits right after two years. So that's, I think, is one of the more, most exciting things to them is how it's going to directly affect them and their future and their success. They're asking great questions. They understand what lifelization is now. They understand fractionation, precipitation. Um, it, it's wonderful. So I really feel very confident we're going to have some a pool of, um, of great applicants in about 10 years with this. They're used to measure out, okay, and they're really accurate. Johnson County Schools is the first school district in the state to do something like this. Um, that's a pretty big achievement for, for our school system. Um, I think we, as a school system, should be recognized for our forward thinking and wanting to be partnered with this, mm -hmm. as well as wanting you know, other corporations, not even just biotech companies, but other things down the road to get involved with the school system as well. That'd be wonderful to see in the future. The pilot program has reached 750 students at Clayton Middle, Selma Middle, and Riverwood Middle Schools. Now a success, Griffles has purchased the lab equipment and books to roll the program out at every single middle school in Johnston County for the 2015-16 school year. When companies like this that employ my students' parents um, and their neighbors and their friends are a part of their education, it brings in the realistic aspect of some of the things we're talking about. It makes it relevant to the world around them. Beyond that, we're looking at either in the L.A. area, Los Angeles, or Barcelona because that's where our other two sister plants are. Mm -hmm. So they're excited to make sure we get this rolled out here in North Carolina before we can take it either across country or across the ocean. And across the country and across the ocean, Clayton will stand out as a wonderful example of how our schools, colleges, and great corporate citizens like Griffles can together better prepare our children and our community for a successful future.